a regal and majestic giant breed. The Great Dane is without a doubt one of the tallest dog breeds in the world. Also known as the Apollo of dogs, thanks to their intelligence and elegance, the Great Dane is an easily recognizable breed. Despite their intimidating size, these guys are one of the sweetest dogs to be around. Great Danes are friendly, energetic, and affectionate canines, making them an ideal family companion. If you've found yourself enamored by these gentle giants and want to learn more about the breed, you've definitely found yourself the right video. Today, we'll be looking at the top 10 interesting facts about the Great Dane. But before we begin, we'd like to express our thanks to all the original Great Dane owners whose content has been featured in the video. Their respective Instagram profiles have been linked in the description below, so make sure to check them out. And now, let's begin. Number 1. Their History Many people believe that the Great Danes are from Denmark, but that is not the case. These gigantic canines were originally developed by German nobility for the purposes of guarding and hunting. Breeds in the background are thought to include the Irish Wolfhound, from whom the Great Dane gets its height, the Mastiff, who contributed heft, and the Greyhound, responsible for their sleek physique. Since the dogs needed to be physically strong and brave for hunting boars and protecting families, these traits were taken into consideration while breeding the Great Dane. A French naturalist, George Lewis, had once traveled to Denmark in the 1700s and he saw a version of the boar hound that was slimmer and more like a Greyhound in looks. He called this dog Grand Danois, meaning Great Danish dog. So the name Great Dane is actually an English translation of the breed's name in French. In 1880, the Germans banned the name Great Dane and called the breed Deutsche Doggy, which means German Mastiff. However, the breed continues to be called Great Dane in English-speaking countries. Originally bred to work as hunters, these dogs had to be ferocious. However, this changed in the late 1800s. Wealthy German breeders continued to refine the breed. They turned their attention to the dog's temperament because Great Danes had aggressive, ferocious temperaments due to the fact that they were originally bred to hunt wild boar, a particularly ferocious beast. These breeders tried to produce more gentle animals and luckily for us today, they succeeded. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed in the year 1887 and today these dogs rank 17 out of 197 dog breeds in America according to the AKC Breed Popularity Ranking. Number 2. Their Appearance Given the fact that they are one of the largest dogs in the world, Great Danes easily tower over most dogs. And when they stand on their hind legs, they're even taller than most people. Male Great Danes are 30 to 34 inches tall and weigh 120 to 200 pounds, and females are 28 to 32 inches tall, weighing 100 to 130 pounds. At a first glance, the male should appear to be more massive than the female, with a larger and heavier frame. When Danes are born, they weigh only 1 or 2 pounds, and in just half a year, they can weigh as much as 100 pounds. These dogs have a massive narrow head which is flat and rectangular on top. They have a square jaw and deep muzzle. The eyes are medium-sized, deep-set, and dark with a lively intelligent expression while the eyelids are almond-shaped and relatively tight with well-developed brows. Their ears drop forward and are cropped to stand erect, whereas the nose is usually black except in the Blue Dane where it is a dark blue-black. The Great Dane's neck is firm, high-set, well-arched, long, and muscular. They also have long, powerful straight limbs and large rounded feet. Their tail is set high on their back, thicker at the base, and tapered to a point. The coat is short, thick, and clean with a smooth, glossy appearance. Coat colors include fawn, black, brindle, blue, merle, harlequin, and mantle. Number 3. Their temperament While gentle giant may be an overused phrase, it aptly describes the Great Dane. These dogs are spirited, courageous, never timid or aggressive, friendly, dependable, and moderately playful. They are eager to please and highly people-oriented, demanding a great deal of attention from those around them, including strangers and children. When they want to be petted, they nudge people with their large heads. Despite their large size, these dogs frequently decide to be lap dogs. Don't be surprised if they suddenly sit on your lap in search of affection. They also love the outdoors, which is why a yard for them to play and stretch in would be ideal. No biggies, however. These dogs make great house dogs and considering the fact that they're a low-energy breed, as long as they get their fair share of exercise and a large enough space to stretch in, a Great Dane is well suited to apartment living as well. And despite their sweet nature, Danes also make good guard dogs. They're very affectionate with their families and absolutely hate being left alone. When left to their own devices for too long, they can become quite destructive. A simple fix for this would be to find a playmate for them. It could be another dog, a child, or even a cat. Great Danes are generally friendly to other dogs, non-canine pets, and familiar humans. They're not particularly aggressive and they also don't have a strong prey drive. These dogs are surprisingly gentle with children, but be reminded that Great Danes are large dogs. One swipe of that wagging tail can easily knock a toddler over, so it's important to supervise their interactions. Number 4. They are popular dogs 
As we said earlier, the Great Dane ranks 17 out of 197 breeds in America in terms of popularity. In 2011, a Great Dane in Otsego, Michigan, named Zeus, earned a Guinness World Record for tallest dog ever male, measuring in at 3.66 feet tall and weighing 155 pounds. Zeus reportedly ate 30 pounds of food every two weeks. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2014 when he was just five years old. But that's not all the breed has to offer when it comes to popularity. A Great Dane named Juliana was awarded two Blue Cross medals, one for defusing a bomb by peeing on it and the other for alerting authorities of a raging fire. Even cartoonists love Great Danes. Scooby-Doo, Astro from the Jetsons, and Marmaduke are all famous fictional representatives of the breed. Many politicians, athletes, and celebrities also are big fans of the breed. A few famous owners of Great Danes have included Jim Carrey, Bruce Lee, Fabio Lanzoni, Mario Andretti, and President Franklin Roosevelt. Number 5. One Great Dane Joined the Navy Just nuisance, a Great Dane remains the only dog to be officially enlisted in the Royal Navy. The dog was born in the late 1930s and grew up in the United Services Institute. There, he befriended the Navy sailors that commanded the base in Simonstown, South Africa. Just nuisance liked to take the train with his new friends, but the train conductors were less than thrilled about having a Great Dane on a train. The railways threatened to put down the dog if he continued to ride on the train without paying his fare. The Navy loved this traveling canine so much that they decided to have him enlisted. Sailors were allowed to ride for free, which meant as a Navy man, Just Nuisance was able to ride with his friends without fear. On board ships, the dog's propensity for strolling up the gangplank and obstructing the way earned him the moniker Just Nuisance. Just Nuisance was buried with full military honors, a parting salute, and a recital of the last post when he was put to rest at the age of seven years. Number 6. Their Training Intelligence and eagerness to please, these two factors play a huge role in deciding the trainability of a dog. And since Great Danes have both these qualities in spades, training these canines is an easy task. Breed fanciers, however, say that some individuals can be stubborn learners. Early training is required due to Great Danes' massive adult size. Both early socialization and obedience training are a must for the breed. With early socialization, you want to introduce your pup to a wide variety of people, places, and situations so that they grow up to be well-adjusted adults. Because the breed is eager to please, they will excel at obedience training with gentle and consistent guidance. Make sure to praise and reward your dog for a job well done. Like all dogs, the Great Dane requires a firm yet gentle pack leader. While training a Dane, their size needs to be considered. They need to be taught not to jump or lean on people. Crate training your Dane is an excellent way to assist with potty training and to ensure that they are safe and do not cause any damage while you are away. Great Danes are very people-oriented and may suffer from separation anxiety. So don't leave them alone for more than a few hours at a time. It's a good idea to take proactive steps to prevent this problem while training them. Number 7. Their Exercise Requirements Because of their daunting size and hunting origin, some may think that the Great Dane requires a great deal of exercise. However, this is not exactly the case. These dogs enjoy spending their time indoors with their family, but this does not necessarily mean that they don't enjoy being outdoors. They require a long walk at least once a day, and a large fenced yard to play around in is ideal. An adult Great Dane needs 30 to 60 minutes of daily exercise, depending on their age and activity level. Puppies and adolescents need about 90 minutes of exercise a day. These guys also make good companions on jogs or hikes, but you must wait until the dog is 2 years old to avoid damage to their growing joints. Before then, their bones are still growing and they're just not up to the task. The breed also enjoys games of tug, running, and trick training. Many Great Danes likewise enjoy participating in agility, obedience, tracking events, weight pulls, and sports such as fly ball. Number 8. Their Grooming The Great Dane has a short, thick, smooth coat that sheds moderately but requires minimal grooming. A weekly brushing session with a rubber hound mitt or soft bristle brush is enough to keep their hair and skin healthy. In spring and fall, however, the breed will have a heavy shed known as blowing out the coat. During this time, you would want to brush your Dane more frequently to get rid of all that loose hair. And unless they get into something dirty, Great Danes only require a bath on a casein. The rest is basic care. Trim their nails every few weeks and brush their teeth frequently for good overall health. And make sure to check and clean the ears, eyes, and other body parts to avoid any infection. Number 9. Their Health With an average life expectancy of 7 to 10 years, Great Danes are a fairly healthy breed. But like any other dog, they too are prone to a few health conditions. Great Danes, like the majority of large dogs, have a faster metabolism. This means that they require more energy and food compared to smaller breeds. They suffer from some health issues that are common in large breeds. Generally, Great Danes are prone to hip dysplasia, bloat, 
heart disease, and tail injuries. Bloat, also known as gastric dilation volvulus, is the leading cause of death in Great Danes. It is a life-threatening condition in which the stomach is distended with gas or air and then it twists. The dog is unable to belch or vomit to rid itself of the excess air in the stomach, and the normal return of blood to heart is impeded, blood pressure drops, and the dog goes into shock. Owners should educate themselves on the symptoms of bloat and what to do if it occurs. Many breeders and owners consider prophylactic gastropexy surgery, also known as preventative tax surgery. This can help prevent bloating and Great Danes to a certain extent. In addition to these, eye and cardiac diseases, hyperthyroidism, and autoimmune thyroiditis are some of the other health issues that can affect the breed. But keep in mind that not all Great Danes will get any or all of these diseases. As long as you get a pup from a reputable breeder, you can avoid quite a few of these mentioned diseases. Still, no matter how healthy your Great Dane pup may appear, make sure to visit the vet for regular checkups. With regular checkups, you might be able to detect and possibly avoid any serious health complications early on. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition Diet is important for a rapidly growing giant breed like a Great Dane more so than for most breeds. A Great Dane puppy should not eat regular puppy food because it is usually too rich for them. Instead, they should eat puppy food specially designed for large breeds. It is best not to supplement with anything, particularly calcium. And don't give them table scraps too often. If possible, avoid cooked bones and foods high in fat. And as we mentioned earlier, Great Danes are highly susceptible to bloating. The causes of bloat are unknown, but letting them eat multiple small meals per day and avoiding vigorous exercise around meal times can help reduce its likelihood. The amount of food you provide your Great Dane with varies greatly with age and gender. It's a good idea to consult your vet or breeder for dietary recommendations to suit your individual dog. And with that, we've reached the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Great Dane. Thank you so much for watching the video. What are your thoughts on these towering gentle giants? Do you think that'd be a good fit for your family? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe for all things dog related and check out our other videos to learn more about different dog breeds. Catch you guys in the next one.